Ang amo ko ang pin karon ko igan ingon makita nya ako na isulte our pin is commitment in song that must be sung together sabi ni saya pa ako ginan si honorable uh, councilor hero di tulos ginan ko siya mo ulit nya ang ginan saya ini ano commitment in song that must be sung together is uh, Together, we can do how we can make things happen. I have a question for you. 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 I ang akong mga aplikobikan sa media. Media na din, eh, kung media na siya. Niya, nalipan sa ko na doon ay umati na yung nanasa sa ilang balay para makikita na ako o makungrabi na yun. Kaya mura mo kung nag-birthday na ako. Niya, ay kung kayo po, nga nang nga si Boom Breakfast na, at ang nga nang nangihapon na ta, ay ako nang nabili eh ay mo kayo lang kayo convenient ni Elon. Kaya salamat kayo sa inyong patanggol o karong panghihahotol ng inyong panahitin eh makatabang na mo to inspire us to make things happen in the next 35 years of our existence. Kunya, akong nakuso ni akong hamubo na pakigulong binamil sa pakigulong sa sa kalimya na paborito ko na ako. The members of the breakfast club and the organization itself will strive hard from here until 25 years later to have a share or to humble share in making and creating a new great Philippines with new great Filipinos who have conquered the strength and who have discovered their potential. So that we, in the Civil Breakfast Club, will probably return to heaven when our day shall have come to the rules of the past and to tell God, Lord, we have made our share in seeing today that our country will, there will be people who will no longer hunger for heaven, people who will no longer be spared for life and people who are hopeless but will not be hoping forever. Una, salamat kayo, unya, meaning kayo na akong ihatag personal rin. Ang mga atong na track sa para sa akong mintro. Mark, track siya. Una ako na akong kawan, si Manin Villarosa.
one of the most luminous stars in the legal government, being one of the most brilliant legal professionals inside of that. At one shiny moment of his life, he was the oldest man director for the designers. And the irony of it all is that, unlike some of our great opportunities, opportunities, politicians, he had decided to jump to the opposition, leaving the administration to which he had belonged, raising and entrusting his political faith as the richness of the political will and sincerity of our mature voters in the city of the city. I know our guest speaker so well because in 1998 to 2001 we had a privilege of serving together the city council of the civil city as councillors. I also know for certain that whatever God wants you to do for this city and for his people, our guest speaker will be more than equal to start. His experience in government service in the contributory arm of the government, as Ombudsman, as Canon Bayan Manila, his experience in government service as city councillor and now as vice mayor, followed by Mayor Cebu City, the notable Edgar Comina Libertaria. <laughs> I hope that I observe the very valuable statements from my new friend, Terry Sonko. President George Rabbit, Vice President Terry, my idol, advisor of the graduation, Leo Song, all the officers and members, Billy Manangan of the Center Town, all the Vegan lovers of democracy and all of the districts of school breakfast club, ladies and gentlemen, good evening to all of you. I was listening to George, he was mentioning about those colleagues of yours at the end of the stage of this breakfast club. What broke to mind was that in our existing summer, there are only four things that we have to achieve. First is to live, what the problem is. Second is to learn, what the problem is. The third is to love, what you do not. What you do not is to be in the doubt, what you do not is to be in the doubt. And the fourth one, is to be and make us. But giving to my own commentary to my mind, in a mind is to my mind. And I think with this breakfast club, and I'm celebrating from the house of 35 years of existence, I'm sure that you are going to live and make us for good name, good deeds, and good reputation for the generations to come. And for that, I congratulate all the officers and members of the Southern Red Cross And then I was also quite quickly passed with the introduction of Henry de la Sonda. Henry and I were colleagues in the City Council in 1998 up to 2001. Mind you, Henry de la Sonda was one of the most prolific members of the council during his era. So this will be a big round. <laughs> and it was during the year 1998, that there was a mention about the sea traffic. Yes, it was true. I was going on the sea waters for 36 long hours. 
They both left the money back about 8 o'clock in the evening, on September 18, 1998. It was signal number 2, our flight was cancelled, and there was a strike of the media line. So Paul called us up on the Friday noon time, and told us, told my wife and I, that our flight to Paul UK was cancelled. So I told my wife, for us, to reach the pool following day in the afternoon, we have to take the boat because all other flights might also be cancelled. So we went straight, we got signal number two, we went straight to the pier. So when we got there at about 6 p.m. of the boat in the presence of the audience, the first person that I met there was no other than the late Justice Herman. So the rest is history. The boat stopped. My wife and I, the refugees we survived, but my wife was picked up the following day because I still believe that we will see the place on the night boat together with several others and about, about three or four children, which I felt a place on the night run. According to my wife, the following day, out of the twelve of them who were with her in the boat, in the night round, there were only five of them in that. In my case, because I was drifted, I was sick by a weak way, I was drifted far away from them so that I was picked up two days, two nights and two days after. I was picked up on a Sunday by a vision man of the Jesus Christ of the That's why I always look back with all of God who steps you to the Lord for you to be in the Jesus Christ. That's why it's almost time. I will just use this, I will just uh, make use of it in continuous regarding the people of the city of Would you believe that uh, it was a very difficult decision for me to run for vice mayor? Because I would be living in a group, and you know, I was at the other side of them. You know, on that day that I decided to run with Mayor McCrama, Life was never the same again. You can just imagine. Life was never the same again. You can just imagine parting away from your former colleagues and it becomes that there were 80 of us and only myself, Edu Rama and uh, Joey Deluxe who were with mine. So that it was a very difficult situation only attending sessions with all the others staring at you as if we wanted to find a team. I have been undergoing this kind of treatment since the day I joined Mayor Mike Brown. But I did not regret it because I knew that my Brown and I had the same political organizations and virtues and values in life. It was literally that public office, that public trust, that public official shall always be accountable for the people. So, you know, there were about 46 barangay captains who wanted to persuade me to run with my but I always refused because I did not want to. So I, at that point in time, I wanted to retire in politics so that I could play always with my two grandchildren. But with my younger son, told me, but you have to run with my, you have to help me because Mike deserves another turn because he is sincerely doing his best for the good of the people of the city of St. Louis. I said, my son, don't you know the consequences of running against my former colleagues? You know what my son did? But my son said, but in order for a leader to try and this for good people to do nothing. That is why the rest of history, I am the vice mayor of my drama and we need your prayers we need to come so that we can continue to serve the people of the city of Cebu to the best of our ability and to the best of our ability to do so that way. Oh, <laughs> you
over the years, the Liberal Breakfast Club has proven itself as a catalyst for change. An instrument for molding the very path which we are treading on today. From the secular and monthly which you have adopted regarding burning issues of the day, the efficiency increases, the anti dynasty bill, the obvious significant topics, and also increasing the coverage and the private sector of our society. The Civil Breakfast Club has shown what to do public services. I have always found that public service is everybody's primordial concern and that no man has a monopoly of it. And what better timing and what better day you could have chosen to celebrate your anniversary? You have chosen today, September 11, which is translated numerically would yield the number 911. All of you will agree with me that the number 911 promotes the word rescue and breathes life into the word save. 911 is basically a lifeline where one can seek refuge when everything else fails. The Civil Breakfast Club is an exemplification of what number 911 stands for. It is a venue where we can seek hope and express our disgust and dismay over issues which mount our society. But very moral fibers of our society are in the brink of snapping and moral decadence is at its lowest ebb. Almost every day, we are in a maze of loose which makes us remain in vain and cringe in shame. News of war erupting just about anywhere, news of floods and more floods to come, news of how our senators and other legislators cry foul over their signatures being forged by an unknown bond of friends, news of more giants waiting to be exposed, news of plans of the BIR to go after professionals for allegedly filing the wrong taxes, yet forgetting how our Supreme Court Justice and his family forgot to stay there. News of how a regular member of the armed forces got killed while in the line of duty and trying to defend of what he calls his homeland, while all the Euro generals fought in their respective mansions and only get caught when their wives and kids get careless and forgetful at the airport. News which makes us shiver to the deepest crisis of our bones. But then again, all is not lost. We have a lifeline, a 911 so to speak. We have a Cebu Breakfast Club which has withstood time and withered every issue that has come our way. I would like to take this opportunity to congratulate you as you celebrate your 35th anniversary and wish you not just another 35 years but more decades dedicated to true and selfless public service. As Dr. Hamilton said, to ease another heartache is to forget one's own. And to all of you new members who have just been inducted into the roster of this dynamic organization, I urge you to keep the spirit alive and burning and continue what has been done and stand up for what is right and just. As Michelle Obama put it, and in my own life, and in my own small way, I try to give back to this country that has given me so much. That's why I left this job as a law firm for a career in public service, working to empower young people to volunteer in their communities, because I believe that each of us, no matter what our age, our background, our walk of life, each of us has something to contribute to the life of this nation. Tonight, it is my fervent hope and prayer that together we can make a difference and do not hesitate to call on me so that I can be with you in your quest for a better I look forward to having breakfast with all of you someday. Congratulations, Mabuhi and Sibu Breakfast Club. Thank you and good night. Thank you.
remember the plan inspiring ideas which are useful for the attainment of the purposes, goals, aims and objectives of the plan. Presented this in the day of September 2013 at baseline restaurant one of many of the university in the region. Thank you. At this point of time, we would like to call our inspirational speaker, the Honorable <coughs> Councillor Mary Ann Sidiulisa. gratefully presents this plan of recognition to Honorable Mary Ann Sidiulisa, City Councillor Sidiulisa in grateful recognition and appreciation for her presence during the 35th anniversary celebration of the Super Breakfast Club Incorporated as an inspirational speaker, inspiring the officers and members of the club to reach great, greater heights in the pursuit of its mission of service to the community. Presented in the letter day of September 2013 at baseline restaurant, one of the new streets to the city of Philippi.
Untuk berkata satu berkata dua sama bapa ibu, saya doa ke lagi bersama stiker nato di bersatu kami berdiri atau sambil dahulu dan pada istri orang terpilih asupu kami berdua ini berkata berkata masih mengapak satu dengan yang lain. ก็ต้องสืบต่อนะนั่นคือสวัสดีกันมากนะครับนี่ก็ต้องสืบต่อนะนั่นคือสวัสดีกันมากนะครับนี่ก็ต้องสืบต่อนะนั่นคือสวั